Greetings, everyone. Lonely Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Tuesday, August the 2nd. And in this video, we will be testing and showing you the TLX X52 enclosed trailer by 82 Studio, 33.19 megabytes to download. And this is for all platforms. And as I am on PS5, slot count is 16 for consoles now. So you can see this is uh, one of the versions of the trailers. Um, there are uh, several versions, actually, and options. <clears throat> and I will try to show you at least all of them briefly. Anyways, uh, first of all, you'll find them under trailers. And we'll zip to close to the end here. I have lots of trailers, yes. Uh, the TLX uh, X52 enclosed trailers, $82,000, of course, to start with as a base price. <clears throat> now, this is either just a standard dry van trailer or the auto load, uh, which will you see the products at the bottom, auto load for production pallets or pallets in general. Anything that, that appears on a pallet, as it were, so those items you see down there, plus um, I think it says it, it probably will work with, knowing knowing uh, A2 Studio, it will probably work with just about any kind of thing that, any mod that puts anything on a pallet. So if there's something that's not listed there, it quite possibly could uh, actually pick that up too. So here it is. $82,000 standard price. We'll go through the configurations. We've got the standard. we got auto load pallet, which is going to be a $5,000. Uh, so that's going to give you 72,000 liters of capacity <clears throat> uh, for the trailer. Then we have unreal pallet auto load, which gives you 250,000 liters of capacity, one item only at a time. Although, uh, yes, we'll try that out for sure, but I'm pretty sure you can only load one one type at a time, as all the auto-load trailers do that. Uh, $15,000 for that option. Then we go into a reefer unit, which is purely just a cosmetic because nothing, at least on console, nothing needs to be refrigerated, um, which would be kind of cool, and perhaps in the future, I don't know, but for now, it is just a... Um, a, a cosmetic option, a thousand dollars for that. Then we have the auto load, again with the seventy-two thousand liters, and the and the un, uh, unreal reefer unit auto load at two hundred and fifty. They both work the same way, and then back to standard. So we go over to the reefer unit just so you because we have some color options now. Wheel brands, Continental and Lizard, Nokian. Oh, Nokian has some nice chunky tires. Uh, and Continental. In Continental, we have Standard, Standard 2, Standard 3, Standard 4, and Standard. In Lizard, let's go over here. There we go. In Lizard, we have Wide. Oh, the looks like it's the rims that change. And then Nokian, we have a couple of options like so. Right. Uh, Continental, yeah. Continental has the uh, spread axle kind of look to it. And then the Liz... Oh, there's several kinds of... Okay. So the style of axle changes too. You got to go through the Continent. Oh, I see. See the uh, icon underneath the wheel brand and Continental? It shows you that's the, the two narrow at the back. We have three the three brands, and then you have the spread axle for three brands, and then the tri axle for the three brands, and then back oh, and then the middle axle for the three brands, and then your standard. <laughs> wow. Okay. So lots of uh, options there. Back option design. This is for the lights. That's as close as I can get. So sorry about that. Uh, we have design. So the standard design two oh he yeah, adds a little bit of a, a a bumper at the bottom, and then you have uh, that type of uh, design three lights, design four design, and then back to one. So 
couple of options there. $1,500 for design four. Mud guards you can have. Let's go over here. Rear, both front and rear, or none. And attaches. You can also have a rear hitch, which we're going to, if I remember, test that. And now main colors. So we'll go up. You will go up over here because, okay, so main color, we have all the colors. Uh, just about every color known to man. No, not really. There's much more colors than that. But uh, let's make it uh, yellow. And design color, we're going to go with uh, the Citadel. There we go. And rim colors, let's make it uh, Tiffany. It's a nice blue. And uh, that is your uh, color choices or your options. Oh, there's the reefer in the front. So that goes with the main body color. Right. Okay. So what happened to the... Oh, uh, okay, so configurations there is, you're wondering, it's like, wait a minute, the reefer, the reefer is, is a little different from the non-reefer because uh, we almost forgot that uh, details. The de if you see the reefer, you do not get the detail configuration. Details is for the normal uh, trail, well, I say normal trailer, and the, the non-refrigerated trailer. So we get standard. We have the Kubota, as you can see, that I had out in front um, in our store area. Uh, Design 2 has just the Kubota with the, uh, the wording. You can't change the color of the wording, but you can change the color of the main color of the trailer, just so you know, like that. Design 2, oh, that's back options, sorry. Uh, details, design two, design three is Lizard Lawn Care, four is Lizard Logistics, three is Lizard Storage, six is Lizard Goods, and then nothing. So we got the Kubota, which puts a, um, a design on the side, which is very nice, and then just the Kubota wording, and then l the Lizard. So that's uh, not available in the uh, ref reefer unit, just the pallet autoloader standard right okay <laughs> okay so let's hop in and they're actually they're all pretty much identical in operation um so yes the the, the as far as i can tell we're going to jump in actually so this one i already have 87000 liters of flower in and we're going to go and test that one uh, uh, further however we're just going to go and hook up to uh, the refrigerated one here and this should be the auto load Did I not choose auto load for this one? I suppose not. All right. Well, as you can see, the uh, door closed and open is L1 and X. We have R1 and R R3, the fasten the the uh, tension belts, and uh, yeah, this should be. It has the unload here option. Let me just double check that this one is set to the auto load. It should have picked up that flower. Standard pallets auto load, reefer, reefer unit auto load. Oh, I guess it did not. There. Now let's close the doors. Let's go back. And open the door. Open the doors. Did 
does it not pick up flower? Um, okay. Um, right. Okay, so what does the reefer one pick up? You can't load it here like you can some of them. This it will not load at the 82 studio, so you can't fill it with uh, product from buying product. Okay, let me figure this out. Okay, sorry about that, but I think I figured it out. <laughs> I thought I had it figured out. So here we have, of course, um, uh, the uh, uh, just the regular uh, regular sized dry van and uh, as you can see to pick up flower you have to be kind of close uh, I don't know why it's being finicky now it was just picking this stuff up there we go okay I guess if you get out it'll stop loading and then you have to move away from it and come back in to load. Not sure. It seems a little bit touchy as to where... Yeah, that one's loading at the back. So, I don't see where you can... Um, choose where the loading or unloading, if it's the sides or the back or, hmm. um, but it works. Now, as for the refrigerated one, there we go. If you go to the back, it'll load up. All right. So there we have that. Uh, we're going to show that being unloaded in a moment along with the other one there. However, I have uh, I have finally understood. Oh, and uh, what it looks like inside. If we run in here. This is what they appear as: just uh, crates. And it'll tell you flour. We have sixteen thousand uh, liters of flour. So, refrigerated uh, truck actually does hold different products. Uh, so it's not broken. Uh, I just kind of misunderstood the description in the mod hub. It says edible products or uh, edible product palettes. Mm, so I'm, I'm thinking, what's that supposed to mean? This is all food. What do you mean by edible? And then I realized it probably means perishable, such as uh, if we look here, perishable being um, produce. So things like um, not cereal, cheese, or chocolate, or clothes, but uh, eggs, and are perhaps, uh, where is it? Um, I tried strawberries, right? right? So strawberries, those are perishable. They generally would like to be refrigerated to uh, be transported um, without spoilage, and... Indeed, yes. There we go. Strawberries are being loaded. So, it's not... Uh, it's it's a, the, maybe the trans... You know, the, the uh, lost in translation a little bit. So, if you're wondering why your refrigeration uh, trailer is not picking up flour, as I just did, that is because it is meant for uh, perishable goods such as those um, that would perish if they got too hot, obviously. And uh, there we go. It's picking up. So, how do you unload them? That's an excellent question, of which we will investigate. Uh, let's finish. It's a little slow picking up the strawberries for some reason. It was really fast picking up the flower. There we go. All right, so um, we're going to try driving over top of a cell point how about that and there we go we get the trigger and it doesn't automatically sell which i like 
I like having the options like, yes, I want to sell it. And it looks like it is emptied quickly. Again, we're going to drive under this um, buy anything silo. And I haven't had anything yet. We cannot buy stuff, unlike some of the other auto load um, trailers. You can't buy from the, uh, the uh, buy anything silo, which is a bit odd, but not... Unless I, yeah. okay. So let's let's hook up to the trailer with the flower in it, and um, we're going to try something else. Right. So what if you don't want to sell it? You just want to unload uh, the pallets and uh, store them for later. So R one and triangle uh, says unload, and oh, so. You have to be careful. It's going to want to start loading it right away again. <laughs> uh, does closing the door stop the loading process? Yes, it appears. So there we go. I thought that had something to do with it. Okay, so... <laughs> Sorry to be a little backwards here, but unloading obviously unloads at the back which is nice. And to begin the auto load process, you have to have the doors open, which would make sense. And there we go. Yes. Okay. So that's uh, cool. And if we close the doors, will we still get the trigger? Yes, we can get the cell trigger. And let's try this once more through here. In case I missed something, if a trigger pops up at the back. No. Or if I open the doors. No. Okay. So no fill trigger. Okay. I just wanted to double, triple check that. Oh, and now it's filling up at the sides. Okay. Well, um, other than that, I think it's pretty straightforward. Whoops. Pallets have to be upright to be loaded. Um, yeah, sorry if I'm rambling on a little bit. I just wanted to make sure that we had everything covered here. So closing the doors will prevent... Uh, will turn off the... Uh, uh, it's, it's kind of... I don't know why there isn't anything saying that if you can have to figure it out yourself, but you don't have to figure it out now. So if you open, have the doors closed, it will not load. You have to open the back doors for the auto load function to operate. Hmm. I think that pretty much covers it. I've spent enough time on this trailer. However, it is a very nice trailer. It seems to work quite well. And with the 250 liter unreal capacity, um, it should be able to take care of your um, pallet needs and perhaps be a place to store some pallets if you are hitting that pallet limit and you want to keep them in the trailers. So for to store for later, maybe that could be an option for you. I'm Looney Farm Guy and remember, it's only a game, and that's your TLX uh, X52 enclosed trailer for all platforms, 33.19 megabytes to download. Until next time, bye for now.